Nah, I don't think I'll do the clamp. I don't think I need it. I'll give you uh, three bucks on your easy knitter though. Morning. It's a cold one today, huh? Well, we got stuff here and all up there. Oh, okay. We ain't got a price on it out. Okay. <laughs> Gotta get it gone, huh? Paper in it, lady. Oh wow, this is a cool old sewing yes, machine. It works. Really? Yeah, it works. And I've even got the instruction manual that goes with it. Oh, and you got that one? I didn't know Brother made sewing machines. I thought they just made printers. No, they make sewing machines. Oh, and this is to line the, the thread. Line. I actually took sewing class, so I know all about that stuff. <laughs> and that sewing machine runs good. It just it needs the tension adjusted in it. Uh, oh, okay. I don't need this, machines. yeah. <laughs> You got a whole collection of them. So I figured it was $25 if you want it. Yeah. And this here, considering I put $25 on it, but I have looked it up and this was almost $150. Oh, wow. Because I don't have the instruction in it. And I have an addition to this. Oh, really? All the extra feet. Oh, wow. The fan you know, to do all the fancy stitching and everything. That's cool. What year is that from? I think it's a 19... 1930s, really? Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. Got, Made in Japan. I got one of these. I have the first electric sewing finger machine in the house. It was my grandmother's. Wow. My grandmother won it in a contest. <laughs> really? And she named the singer Zigzag. Wow. Let me uh let me keep looking. I'm thinking about the sewing machine now. Well, let me look in the breezeway. Let me see what uh, else we got. <laughs> okay. I forgot my phone. Always. Does this thing work? Yep. Is there actually a little TV in there? Yep. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I'm going to look at okay. it. Yeah, it's just it's a little purple TV. Okay. Yeah, my husband took it out and had it working. That is cool. Okay, so then it's up in the front. Yeah. So this is the actual display. Wow. Yeah. That's so cool. It, it works. Mm. Well, last time it was plugged in, it worked. Okay. Test it out, yeah. yeah. Do you play poker? I do play poker. And I saw you play bingo. 
That's how your little bingo dabber. Oh, up there. Right there. Oh, yeah. that was, yeah. <laughs> These are actual brand new poker ship sets. Oh, see, I already have two. I don't know if I need more. I think. So are one. they? They're not even opened. Like. No, they haven't even been opened. They got cards. They got, they got the cards. Oh. Well, not the cards. This is the entire set. They have never been opened. Hmm. And I've got a bigger. I've got bigger sets too. Hmm. And then you got these as well. Yeah, I just kind of stick them out here just to see if I want to them. Yeah. Mm. I think it's dollars for the bigger sets. Yeah, but they are. I think. No, let me open this one. And the Budweiser cards? That's cool. Yeah, I think they are. I didn't know somebody opened this one. The guys must have needed some extra ships. Yeah, but yeah. But anyway, I know I don't think the other one's been open. I got the big one and the small I've got, one. I've got two big ones. And I'm going to give you a deal. Give me a deal, huh? Mm -hmm. I'll take $20 for all three sets. About, oh. With this? It's just What's more chips, one? yeah. Just more chips? Just more chips. You can never have too many chips. Yeah, I'll put it all in. Okay. Yeah, because I think this one is, like I say, I don't think this one's going to open. Alright, it's 20 bucks for all that. Yeah, there's extra chips. It's been open, but it's extra chips. I mean, it's, okay. it's still got the, the blind and the extra, you know, whatnot. You can always just get rid of them. So you got five on this printer? This printer work? Uh, yeah, it does. And then a buck fifty on this. Yep. Is that what I put on that? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, why not at that price? Oh, yeah. That's it's so it's cool. Worth, it's worth a try. Yeah, exactly. I'll put it in my garage, maybe. Come on. Like How about... Okay. If I did a sewing machine and this, and this for 30 so it's just a buck fifty off? Yeah. Just because I don't want to... Yeah, I don't have that's change. fine. <laughs> and do you want this? Yeah, so 20 for all the chips. Okay. And then... 30 for that, so it's 50 bucks. 50 bucks, yeah. yeah. It's a good start to the day. Mm -hmm. 50 bucks gone. Let me see if I have a 10. I might only have a 20. Do you have a 10? I, I can just make a change. I'll okay. just pack you in the house. I'll get it for you. Okay. Okay. Another day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I need it. I give you uh, 3 bucks on your easy knitter, though. Why? It, it's all in there, right? It's all in there. Okay. I bought that thing so tight I've got so much on. I've got. I Tons saw. Your... <laughs> yeah. Take the arm with it. Yeah? I'll give you the arm. Okay, awesome. Uh, I gotta have my tub so I'll get the guys for it. Okay, cool. Oh wow, these are tiny, tiny <laughs> ships. <laughs> a little one. Yeah.
Hello. Hello. How are you? Doing good. That's good. I'm digging through your bins here. <laughs> yeah, no, that's good. Yeah. How much is this? Five dollars. Be nice to have an extra one. It's never been used. No. Yeah, I'd do five bucks on it. I could use one. Mine's seen better days. There you go. Thanks, man. Hey guys, so I'm sorting through all the stuff I got today. Uh, I'm going to probably make a couple videos out of the yard sales I visited, so it's not too long. Uh, first video, which is the one you just watched, we'll be talking about the what I'm calling the sewing yard sale. Uh, I went to a yard sale, wasn't on any yard sale treasure map or anything like that. Wasn't even on Craigslist as far as I know. Um, I just drove by and said, yeah, let me stop by. I got some interesting finds, and then I've got some stuff I probably shouldn't have bought. So let's take a look at it. The first big buy was this modern age vintage sewing machine. Uh, it's a model 840, it's made in Japan. Uh, and she has a bunch of these extra feet for it, which lets you do fancy stitching, she said. Um, she told me it was worth 150 on eBay. I looked it up and she's right. It's worth about 150 on eBay. Uh, I think she sold it to me for 20, 25 bucks. Yeah, 25, I believe it was. And I tested it, it does work. So that was a good find. I got the Easy Knitter for three bucks. This one is a really cool find because I opened it up, it doesn't look like it's ever been used. And it's only, I'm trying to think, yeah, it's a VHS edition. So it, it goes for about $70 on eBay. I listed that at 65 bucks. Um, with that, she gave me all this yarn, which I mean, I'm not gonna probably knit with it. So maybe the yarn will come in handy or I can give it to my cousin who knits, I don't know. Uh, but I got a bunch of, and she actually has some little things she made in here, which is kind of cool. Little sleeve or something, I don't know. So those I didn't need to take, but she wanted to give them to me, so I accepted. Um, got this little personal television. It's uh, black and white. The problem is it, it does the antenna, like, uh, over the wave TV stations, but they don't exist in my area anymore, so it doesn't really use, doesn't really work at all. Um... Maybe someone still lives in an area where they do broadcast TV channels in that way and you don't need some sort of digital converter and they could use that. But I looked it up on eBay. It's only like 25 bucks. So this was a really good find, this label maker. So this would be like if you're shipping stuff um, or just want to make labels of any sort. I mean, they don't look that big. I don't know if it's four inches or not. But either way, I looked it up. Oh, yeah, here we go. Two and a quarter inch. Or no, not two and a quarter. 2.4 inch label so it's not very big it wouldn't be good probably for shipping but still looks like it's selling for about 70 to 80 on ebay and it's brand new just open box i looked in it doesn't look like it's ever been touched so that's a really awesome find uh my big fail at that yard sale was these uh poker things i don't know why i got them probably because i like poker and i just got excited about the idea of it but this was a dumb buy i shouldn't have bought this don't <laughs> don't do what i did um because they're just, the condition is terrible. She was sell, telling me they were brand new, but I was very distracted by this thing, trying to think of how I could get her to come down and do even cheaper. Even though she only had it at $1.50, I was trying to nickel and dime. 
but then I got distracted with this and yeah anyways needless to say I think I paid 20 bucks for this I also thought these cards might be worth a lot they're not bad they're worth like eight bucks they're Budweiser cards from 2000 so those will pay for most of it this one set is actually new and hasn't been used so I listed that for 20 I've already got a couple watchers so that might actually sell at 20 that can probably sell at eight it'll pay for the 20 I spent and I'll have a bunch of chips for next time I play poker so again bad buy all that great buys um oh and then I went to one little side of the road yard sale picked up this little KitchenAid thing I might keep it for my own or I might sell it looks like it's 20 bucks on eBay new this is a little damaged the box I think it's like 25 new box is a little damaged so I'll probably list it for 20 if I do sell it so paid five make some money there so yeah I think I did pretty well at the sewing yard sale spent around 60 bucks should get back 400 plus uh, if you add up all the things I got so what is that $340 profit that's a win thanks for watching make sure you subscribe uh, like the video and comment thank you